Hello there, lovelies. Welcome to Alicia in the City. I'm Alicia and it's very good to see you here as always. Today we're going to talk about alcohol, uh, why I stopped drinking alcohol, what effects did I have, um, am I going to continue with that, am I getting back to alcohol and things like that. So, uh, first of all, I want to mention that I did um, two videos on my channel about me quitting coffee for um, six months, actually, more, already way more than that. but. Um, you can find them uh, somewhere in the uh, description box and uh, without further ado let's dive in so uh, first thing I want to mention is that I never really had a problem with alcohol a lot of people uh, just simply assume since uh, you decide to sort of put alcohol in pause that uh, there is some weird thing going on that you probably used to be an alcoholic or you used to sort of um, overuse alcohol in the past had a bad history with it none of that happened to me and I always had a pretty good relationship with alcohol uh, probably besides my um, college years, but haven't we all? Um, again, you know, I wasn't drinking like crazy, but you know, on occasional nights, I would have more than I probably should have. Uh, however, yeah, my college years are way past, <laughs> and I, I am an adult now, and um, my drinking habits are uh, very social very much of a social drinker I would say on a normal uh, week I would probably drink uh, about two uh, drinks per week you know on Friday night maybe sometime on the weekend uh, a glass of wine you know nothing crazy I don't do shots uh, not a very big um, hard liquor drinker like you wouldn't really catch me with a glass of gin or whiskey or brandy or whatever that is uh, I usually drink either co cocktails or wine, something which uh, has a very good taste, just makes me feel relaxed and good about myself. So I guess the question is why did I stop drinking alcohol to begin with if I never had any kind of issues? Well, I'll tell you why. I um, noticed that sometimes alcohol uh, would have unwanted effects on me, <clears throat> it's gonna make me more anxious. Uh, if I drink um, alcohol late at night, I would say after 8 p.m., maybe 9 p.m., uh, I would have trouble sleeping. Uh, plus, you know, no matter what you say, alcohol has a lot of sugar, especially in a cocktail. And I decided that, well, maybe I don't need to have alcohol in order to have fun. And, you know, I think that we live in such a society where you know it's just sort of assumed that whenever you're going out with friends uh, you have to have alcohol in order to have a good time and I kind of wanted to prove it to myself more than to anybody else that it's not the case you don't have to have alcohol in order to connect with people you you know you're there to have a good time so have it regardless and um, here is what happened I kind of went I would say yeah pretty much cold turkey but again you know not that I really needed alcohol in my life before but I was just like from now on I will see if I'm gonna get any kind of craving for alcohol because um, I also like an occasional beer especially during um, spring and summer months and you know we are already almost in the end of July so I was kind of you know uh, looking how it's gonna happen I think I stopped drinking alcohol um, somewhere in the beginning of May and um, surprisingly enough, uh, that whole cold turkey thing went pretty well for me. I, yes, you know, on certain days, especially for the first couple of weeks, I was like, oh, it's Friday night, uh, I should put myself a glass of wine. But then I suddenly remember that, oh, I don't drink wine anymore. So maybe I should pour myself something else. And what helped me tremendously is because I think, as I mentioned, I'm a very social drinker. For me, alcohol is not that I want to get drunk, but though um, it's like a relaxing drink, something to sip as I, I don't know, watch TV or having a conversation with someone. So I 
um, had to switch to something else because you know drinking just pure water um, it's fun <laughs> but it's not as fun as having a nice cocktail in hand so I tried drinking sparkling water something which is relatively new to me I'm not a very big uh, bubbly kind of person I much prefer just a regular purified water uh, but I gotta say that it's flavored naturally flavored waters and there is a big variety of them right now and I tried different kinds in this past months they do taste very good and actually you know it almost gives you a feeling of having a cocktail like if you have in a water infused with uh, pomegranate juice or with a grapefruit it's almost like you drink an Aperol spritz. I know some people would disagree with me, but I think it's a great substitute, you know, as easy as drinking a Perrier. Yes, it's a water, but it's 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 natural water and it tastes good. Um, you know, also try adding some ice, try to add some flavors. You know, you can make a water with cucumber. You can make a water with, I don't know, rose petals if you like that rose taste. Um, sort of experiment with that. Um, you know, maybe try having other drinks, uh, maybe like some herbal tea infusion or, I don't know, whatever tickles your fancy. I am positive that there is options for everyone which you can substitute, you know, your alcohol drinks with. And um, here is what happened. So <laughs> every time I would go out and luckily, you know, the restrictions in New York have been lifted. So we do have opportunities to uh, go out and experience life again. Um, at the beginning, it was weird because, you know, I uh, finally the bar sitting is open and I love to sit at the bar and, you know, I would go out like with, a, with my girlfriend and uh, I would sit at the bar and <laughs> then Vanda would come to me and like, okay, miss, what, what, what you're going to have? And I would say, oh, uh, I've sitting in the bar, but I don't have an alcohol drink. It was a little bit weird at the beginning. Also, it does take me some time to explain to people that I'm not drinking alcohol. Uh, since I'm in my late 20s, people just automatically assume that it's, a, it's a, like somehow health related and I get all kind of questions like, are you pregnant? That's why you're not drinking. But it has nothing to do uh, with that I'm not pregnant and um, it's just a life choice decision I made for myself. Uh, just again to sort of experiment. I like to do those things as you guys noticed, just to see how my body would react um, and uh, see how it goes. So uh, I started ordering virgin uh, drinks instead. So let's say I'm gonna order mojito. Uh, it's only different that it doesn't have any alcohol in it and it tastes pretty good. I would order, you know, just, you know, mix different, um, maybe again, sparkling water with some juices, maybe some infusions and it's gonna taste amazing and it's gonna be very refreshing with some ice. And it's gonna taste exactly like a cocktail, only it's not gonna have alcohol. Therefore, it's not gonna give me hangover, it's not gonna give me anxiety, it's not gonna give me any kind of uh, weird effect, it's not gonna give me a headache and uh, just, you know, keep my head clear. And, uh, you know, as the time kind of went by, I realized that I actually don't crave beer anymore. I don't crave wine anymore. Yes, it is still sitting somewhere in a drawer or in, in a fridge, but I just don't really have this necessity of pouring myself a glass. Yes, I would gladly pour myself a glass of uh, something else. Um, and uh, that's kind of, you know, my conclusion. Uh, although, just to be fair, uh, this month july um would it have holidays you know we had we had uh first of july recently i had a house party at home and i have been drinking um and i don't want to be weird about it i don't want to be like oh my god i'm afraid of alcohol i'm not gonna drink it i'm not afraid of alcohol um it's just i think there was a whole mind shift and I just realized that maybe my body doesn't really need alcohol, it's more of a choice. And if you live like uh, me in a big metropolitan city, you know that drinks are very expensive. They are insanely overpriced, something which I can make easily at home, then it cost me at, le at least 15 to $20 somewhere in the restaurant. Like sometimes a glass of wine would be $18. I can get probably at least one bottle of wine for that price, Not maybe sometimes even two bottles of wine which is insane. And here I'm getting only a glass. 
so it's also from financial <laughs> cheap perspective of you but it's true it doesn't just make financial sense it doesn't add up why would i pay 20 dollars for a drink uh when you know my meal probably costs that much so um all of those kind of made me think that maybe i will continue on this whole journey of not drinking and again not to make it weird if i feel like i okay i want to have a drink tonight i will you know i'm not gonna stop myself from doing that it's just i did notice that i tend to get less bloated i tend to get less tired because especially you know wine kind of has that a little bit uh relaxing kind of drowsy effect on me and now when i go out i know that i will gonna have pretty much the same level of energy after i drink um because you know i don't have alcohol in my system uh which if you struggle with it as well i think that's gonna help you and um that was pretty much it i want to tell uh, you today about my <laughs> alcohol free journey uh, so just to you know sort of uh, summarize i think uh, it was very beneficial um i do recommend it to do it like a part of detox program and just to see how your body gonna react especially if you see in that you know maybe you're drinking way more beers than you used to a year ago maybe you know um, maybe there are deeper issues, um, maybe you try to numb yourself with alcohol or w whatever it is, um, if that's something you want to perceive, I think uh, it's a good choice. I just think the hardest part is to find in those right substitutes for alcohol, but I, as I mentioned, there are plenty of them, and even if you're going to go uh, something as simple as just or ordering your favorite drink but making a, a virgin, uh, version of it I think that's great plus you know there are so many great uh, flavored waters and juices out there you know go for it so that's been my journey if you guys enjoyed this video please please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next videos bye bye